Get hot, stay hot, yeah, like green curry in a clay pot. Sheesh, they said the run came to a heel. The band back together, watch the K-pop. That's that first place talking. Respect the shooter, that's word to spray Thompson. You must be absurd, the nerve to play off him. Survey boss, and they'll tell you what it cost him. 37 points in one quarter, pull up from 37 in this water. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Sold Out. On today's episode, we have the Anta KT9. So before we get into the video, just want to give a shout out to my guy, Dwayne Lawrence. Um, he was a, had a hand in creating this sneaker. He also has the song you will hear at the beginning of this video. So definitely a huge shout out to him. Go check him out on SoundCloud. I'll leave his name. His rap name is Champagne Dwayne, if I'm not mistaken. If I butchered that, I'll put the correct one up here. And also his SoundCloud will be down below if you guys want to rock out to the the k-pop song that he made about these sneakers so i think it's dope he he did the rap thing he did the design thing so with that being said let's hop right into it so far as weight um i'm pretty sure it weighed around 13 13.5 so at the end of the day it, it's not super heavy it's not super light but it's just in between definitely a sturdy built sneaker it doesn't feel heavy on foot at all feels well balanced now working our way from the top down to the bottom heel slip in comfort felt great um the padding right here is minimal then it tapers down or tapers out a little bit a lot thicker down here by the ankle and then you have this for the achilles heel lockdown felt phenomenal so no issues with any of those things laces or the round laces i don't like round laces but these for some reason did not come untied i don't know if it's just kind of the tacky material that they use they feel a little bit thicker than normal cheap round laces so good job on the laces now down onto the tongue the tongue the padding on the tongue felt minimal up here but as you get down in the laces, it feels a lot better. It doesn't, the laces don't cinch around your foot. Like I can't stand a sneaker where this cinches right here. Super painful when you're leaning forward or you're going to burst. It, it just sucks having that issue. And you do not have that on these. The tongue, it wasn't the most breathable. It is mesh. It just didn't release a lot. That's probably my own, one of my only gripes on the shoe. I wish the tongue could have been just a little bit more poured it out. But other than that, they did a great job on the tongue. Now, down on the material, I definitely like the material on this sneaker. It made it feel beastly while not being heavy at the same time. The material's on the back. You guys can see this leather. I don't know if it's real leather or if it's synthetic. You can see the support right down here through the eyelets as well. All the way here on the back. It's kind of the boat shoe vibe he was going for right here. One of the aesthetics was in the description. It said kind of kind of implemented a boat shoe, captain shoe type thing into this sneaker. I think they did a good job. As far as the mesh down here, you guys can see the support right here. They use TPU right up through here on the Anna sign. And then this mesh is woven in and out. Um, not the most breathable material, but it's not like a hot box. Nothing like the Harden 7s or anything like that. Um, of course, I love breathable materials, but not every company is going to do the most breathable sneaker in the world this didn't run too hot on my foot so you guys know if you watch the channel i really don't rock shoes if they run too hot on my feet my feet get hot real quick and i don't like it now down onto the cushion my favorite thing about this sneaker you guys can see the four foot nitro foam right here feels very good it while it is a thin pad on the forefoot a lot of people got to understand if you're looking for something that's like crazy mushy or something you're going to want something with the air or not an air zoom strobel, just the air strobel. You can definitely feel that and it, it gives a little bit more bounce back or something like the GT Jump 1, GT Jump 2. Now, when you're looking for something like a guard shoe, you want to still feel the floor underneath your foot. You still want to have response. You don't just want it to be all about cushion. Me, personally, I like the cushion in the back and that's what you get with the KT9. This right here, this foam all back through here feels very, very soft on foot definitely great for impact protection and then they have smart technology they implemented into this which i'm not a fan of people saying that unless it is something smart technology like something you could hook to your phone or something that could track something at the end of the day but i get it it's it's a sales pitch got to do it but it is definitely definitely it's about that big and you can feel it under here and all around here it the back of the sneaker feels amazing it was my favorite part of the sneaker while the forefoot was still responsive at the same time when i can get a responsive forefoot great impact protection on the heel i'm all in with it so uh, i think anna anna and them guys they did a great job on that now down onto the traction well actually before we get into the traction they definitely have a carbon fiber shank plate right there you guys can see that it goes about like that big right through there and then onto the traction you guys can see this i think it was oakland inspired i'm pretty sure or wherever he was from that's definitely what it's inspired from that pattern 
Now, unfortunately, this did pick up dust. It wasn't bad as like the Mellows or any of the Mellow sneakers that picked up dust, but it did pick up dust and I did have to wipe frequently. Now, on the Clean Gym, it was top tier. A lot of sneakers are though in a, in a Clean Gym. The odds of you always going into a Clean Gym with a clean floor are very slim. So sometimes people, you know, they look for can it perform on dust? Yes, this can perform on dust. While it won't be top tier, I did not I did not slide out one bit, but I did have to wipe frequently. So if you guys have issues with wiping like that, might not be the sneaker for you, but it really didn't bother me that much. Just sometimes it was like a little inconvenience. Had to keep wiping before we were getting into drills and running up and down the court, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, traction did its job. Now, down onto who I would recommend this sneaker for, it, it's definitely, it can be a one through three shoe, one through four shoe. Um, great support, great heel impact protection. Even bigs might enjoy this shoe. If you're a five and you want more bounce and you want more forefoot impact protection, might not be the sneaker for you because this is responsive at the same time, but it does have nitro foam. You bigger guys might get a little bit more out of your cushioning than say I would at 150 pounds. So a bigger guy might get a little bit more impact protection than I would. So at the end of the day, it's definitely a great, great one through four shoe, um, one through three shoe. I don't think you would regret buying this sneaker, especially if you're a two, two, three guard, you'll definitely enjoy this sneaker. You definitely still feel the floor underneath you. You get that response, that impact protection in the back. Definitely a great shoe. No complaints about the KT9. Overall, I just think they did a great job on designing this. Dwayne, Anta, all you guys. Shout out to all you guys, man. You guys did a great job on this sneaker. I was worried about getting a, a, a clay shoe in because I didn't know how I'd like it. I've never had a clay shoe. i um, only been doing reviews for probably the last couple years. Been a sneakerhead my whole life. Been a hooper my whole life. And I, I was like, I don't know how this is gonna perform. And it actually, actually performed great. It's a beast of a sneaker. Like I said, my favorite part was this part back here. This foam they use back here and this smart technology right here. The nitro foam, I love the nitro foam. It, it definitely feels soft. The Gordon Haywards, I think, might have had that foam too as well. And I loved it in the Gordon Haywards as well. So, Anta, keep doing your thing. Dwayne, keep doing your thing. And to all you guys tuning into the channel, I appreciate you as well. You guys already know what to do. Leave me a comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.